Merun's Dagon is the Daedric Lord of change, destruction, and ambition. <laughs> Hi everyone, and welcome to episode one of my Demons and Hunters series, the Dramora Lord. Are you? Let's get started. On PC, you can use the console to change your race to Dramora, but the rest of us have to settle with a Dunmo. Use the darkest skin tone and colorations with some red war paint. You dare bring me here! We have bad blood with the Empire, so enter the keep with red. For combat, use a combination of destruction magic and one-handed attack. Then snatch the key from the captain, equip her heavy armor, and train to 40 one-handed on Raylock. Alternate between health and magicka on level up, then get the armsman perks. Things to collect include garlic, the mage gear, and valuables to sell later, as well as the bear pelt in Anniversary Edition. Make a beeline for the mage stone, Could then have some fun with Sven and Feindol, Sven? obtaining the former as your follower. Is this what he really thinks about me? Now that's what I like to hear. Get what's good from Gerda. Then take the garlic from hers and Sven's homes. Harvest the cabbage, leek and potatoes. And search barrels for tomatoes. Get the pickaxe from Embershard Mine. Then extract the corundum ore back near Helgen. Loot the treasure map from the Illinolta bandits, and the enchanted items from the Shrine of Talos. Then continue westward and collect Nordic barnacles from the wreck of the Silver Moon. Head east to the Sunken Barrow for more, Then burn a witch. Do it! You meet your end, mortal! So you can use her cupboard for safe storage. Take the flawless emerald. And the bandit treasure. Then flame the jumping salmon at the pool nearby to collect salmon. Follow the river until you've collected at least 30. Then make a stop at the metery. Before Fine. wandering over to Whiterun. We'll be keeping an eye on you. Tan some leather. And smelt a corundum ingot. Then make a backpack. Cook yourself some vegetable soup. Steal the garlic from House Greymane, and dive for more Nordic barnacles and Dragon's Reach mud. Take a road trip to Riften, be sure to visit the Black Briar Meadow, and collect the confiscated goods from the three watchtowers. Being a Daedra, we will not be taking any blessings from the Divine, but you can still loot the Shrine of Valuables. Bribe a beggar, bless your kind then sell your junk, 
Well, we'll use a speech bonus to persuade both more. Good. So what do you want to know? And Sapphire. All right, all right. I guess I made enough of this shit. Helping Shadra day, allows friend. you to get a free horse well, from the Riften Stables. Travel east to the Blackbriar Lodge. Now ain't this a surprise. And take down the mercenaries outside. So you can get a set of steel plate armor. Then climb the hill nearby for a copy of the last scabbard of Akra. Switch to the Thief Stone. Before taking the wagon to Windhelm. Rest up at the inn. Then it's over to Sadri's used well. Do him a solid and return the ring. Then brew a few potions from garlic, Nordic barnacle, and salmon roe so you have it. Returning to Revan unlocks him as a speech Asura's trainer, always guides you to fortune. allowing you to buy speech training and sell him the potions for your gold back. Keep brewing potions to level up and sell them for training to 50 speech to unlock the merchant. Then start buying destruction training from Woonfur. Brewing and selling him potions as before until you reach his cap of 50 destruction. Buy Bound Sword, then get whisked there away to Winterhold. And make a quick save. I Request see. entry to the college. That power certainly exists, I assure you. The and reload the quick save if you aren't tested with the flame Akinat Buy the spell are. for a mere 30 now gold. Just to see you cast it. Then show your skill and conjuration. So you can continue training destruction with Feralda. Reassign the Mage Stone. And you seek out some deepest it. fathoms at the Riften Docks for the unfathomable Return depths quest. It, it must go back. Come to the Flame Atronach and use the Bound Sword for level conjuration. Collecting any smeltable Dwemer metal and filled soul gems you can find. Cut down the Centurion. Then return the Lexicon for the Ancient Knowledge Effect. Train to 60 destruction and level up. Then make your way to Markar. Some say it's built by the dwarf. And start training smithing with Gorza. Give her the smithing book to reach 30 smithing and unlock the dwarven smithing perk. Make a deal with Kalselmo for access to Nuchunzel. Where you can collect more Dwemer metal. And a smithing potion. Squash that spider. I then collect the key to the museum. To the Dwemer museum. And all the Dwemer metal near Kalselma. Raid the Dwemer museum and Kalselma's laboratory for Dwemer metal. As well as Reachwind Irie. and the Dwarven storeroom outside Mazolf. Harvest Nordic Barnacles from River and Lake Yorgrim. Before collecting more Dwemer metal in the entry to Raldbathar. And the Oftand Ruin Tower. Training Restoration with Colette on Level Up. Before we start training the other crafting Execute skills, it is a good idea to get a player home. No one. In Special Edition, 
I suggest speaking to Scythia, Yaro Poultry, and dealing with his bandit. We can then purchase some land, we can build a small house with the main hall, then add the crafting stations and a double bed. In Anniversary Edition, I suggest getting Mirwatch, since it already has everything you'll need. Pay for passage we'll to Solstheim. Then hire Teldrin from the Retching Net. Then let's be off. Lead him up to White Ridge Barrow. And have him help with the Flame Cloak Spiders. Read the Black Book, interred in the main chamber. Then stroll through Apocrypha using a torch to light your path. Steal the secrets of Hermaeus Mora and activate the Seeker of Might. Switch to the Warrior Stone. And buy one iron for every three dwarven metal ingots you have. Rest well. Then use two thirds of the dwarven metal to forge dwarven bow. Train to 50 restoration on level up. But make sure you save enough gold to buy a smithing enchantment and a banish enchantment. After 10 days, you can collect another smithing potion from the Chuinzel and more Dwemer metal if you need it. Then use the smithing item and potions to upgrade your Dwarven Bow until you reach at least 90 smithing for the Daedric Smithing Club. Change to the Mage Stone. I'm glad that I'm finally traveling with someone who seems comfortable. And the Seeker of Sorcery. Then disenchant your enchanted item. Use the filled soul gems you collected from the Dwarven Ruins to enchant your Dwarven Bows with damage. Then trade them for training to 60 Restoration. Along with the spells Close Wounds, Steadfast Ward, Fireball, and Ice Storm. Start training Illusion with Drevis. Then sell the rest of your enchanted bows to Glover and buy more filled Petty and Lesser Soul Gem. Use these to enchant more bows with Banish, which you can trade for any other enchantments you want. Then carry on to 100 enchanting. Collect Nordic Barnacles along the northern coastline. Harvest Salmon Row using the Ice Storm spell. Grab the Flame Cloak spell south of Ingville. And by the time you reach Dawnstar, you should have plenty of potion in you. Swing by Solitude. Solitude. Beautiful old city. Capital of Skyrim. And steal everyone's garlic while they are distracted by Rogdir's execution. Traitor! Forge some Daedric armor, boots, gauntlets, and a sword. Then free the enthralled Dunla of the Earthstone. And take the Dunma shoes from Rurns and Brolsa. Collect glowing mushrooms and Falma helmets from Shimmer Mist Cave. Then enchant some clothes and Dunma shoes with Fortify Smithing, a circlet and Falma helmet with Fortify Alchemy, as well as a necklace, ring, and gloves with both Alchemy and Smithing. Switch to the Seeker of Might, then use the Smithing gear to upgrade your sword and armor. to the Seeker of Shadows, 
and the Thief Stone. Then use your Alchemy Gear to brew more potions. Trade them for training to 50 Illusion, the Aspect of Terrapur. Then start training Conjuration with Finis. Once you've reached 100 Alchemy, and Finis's training cap of 75 Conjuration, buy the Dramora Lord spell, and change back to the Seeker of Sorcery. If you travel to Tel Mithra, then defeat the Ash Guardian for Talvis, He will be unlocked as a Master Conjuration Mr. Trainer and follow. Me had he found out. This means you can buy Conjuration Training from him, then temporarily recruit him as a follower to take your gold back from his inventory. Fund Valis' excavation of Colby on Barrow, and collect the armor of Azadal. You ever hear of Azadol? Outmatch him with your Gamora. No match at all. Then read the Filament and Filigree book. I can't believe you do that on purpose. For access to the Secret of Arcana. Head north to Bencon Jericho. And fight your way through to the Great Hall. where you will find the Telekinesis spell and the Black Book Untold Legends. The powers in this Black Book allow you to summon either a Dramora Merchant or a Dramora Butler. Back in Skyrim, use the Secret of Arcana power to negate spell costs, then levitate an object with Telekinesis. Travelling across the map whilst holding the cast button will then level Alteration to 100. Buy Blisterwort from an Alchemist. Catch Blue Butterflies around Whiterun. And Harvest Snowberries around Winterhold. Grab the Warrior Stone. Then take all your ingredients and materials to Severin Manor. Sign the Seeker of Shadows. Then brew an enchanting potion from Blue Butterfly and Snowberry. Change to the Seeker of Sorcery. Then use the Azadal armor to enchant an improved set of alchemy gear. Switch to the Seeker of Shadows. Then brew three enchanting potions. Swap to the Seeker of Sorcery and use the Azadal armor to enchant your final set of crafting gear. Take the Seeker of Shadows again, then brew more enchanting potions and smithing potions from Blisterwort and Glowing Mushroom. Now go to the Seeker of Might and use the smithing potions and gear to upgrade your arms and armor, which should also take you to 100 smiths. Finally, retake the Seeker of Sorcery, and enchant your gear according to the suggestions in the video description, or your personal preference. Now you suffer! In Anniversary Edition, you could opt for the Daedric Plate Armor, but I would advise against using the ingredients from the Khajiit, as the gear quickly becomes too powerful. Assign the Lord Stone for additional magic resistance, and buy Iron Flesh from Tolfdir. Find the Daedric Relic in the Mid and Dark, then read the Incident Report, and take the ornamental rings from the investigator's chest in the Arcanium. Place Katarina's ring on the index finger, Trioi's ring on the middle finger, Balwin's ring on the ring finger, 
and Pythikin's ring on the little finger. Meet the Pirate King of the Abyssian. Then unleash him on Tamriel once more. And collect some treasure for your trouble. How if you speak to Finnis for the Conjuration Ritual spell, and exert your dominance over the Dremora, you'll be able to legitimately conjure four Dremora, albeit only in the specific location. You'll also get a Sigil Stone, allowing you to empower the Atronach Forge. Reading Hyrule's journal at Skytown for Ruins starts the Arms of Chaos quest, which takes you to the East Empire Company in Windhelm, then to Pilgrim's Trent. By summoning and defeating the three Drumora, you can claim another three Sigil Stones. These can optionally be used to craft the Warlock's Mark, the Arm of the Moon, and the Arm of the Sun. Pay a and visit to the Museum of the Mythic Dawn. The Museum of the Mythic Dawn is open, friend. Here and learn the locations of the fragments of Nehrun's Razor. Any pieces any way you can. No questions asked. Kill the Keepers. and collect the fragments. Then bring them to Silas. All the pieces of Merun's razor are in my hands. Climb to Dagon's shrine. Good, you're here. I'll place the pieces on the altar. And you, call to your lord. Mortal, you are worthy of speaking to. Spill Silas's blood. I honor my lord. By destroying you! Then reforge the razor. At level 46, you will have received the Stranger's Plea, which starts the cause quest. Find the traitor. Then follow the trail to Riel. Retrieve the elemental shards. Place them on the pedestal. And take the great Welkin stone. Defeat Norian. Then infiltrate Red Scar Cavern. and locate the Oblivion Gate. Sacrifice Vernos to open the gate. Then return home to the Deadland. Defeat Valkyn Gitanus and Valkyn Mecha to claim the artifacts Scourge and Torment, as well as the Conjure Daedric Course spell, and the Mantle of Dagon's Champion. There can be no other end. Then you can mop up the rest of the Mythic Dawn. Find the vigilance of Stendhal while they hit the Daedra. Show conjurers the folly of their ways. Feast on human hearts. I will feast on your heart! And spread destruction in Lord Daedra's name. Fill the world with destruction in my name. Well, that's it for this build. Thanks for watching, and a special thank you to everyone who subscribes to my channel. 
leaves a comment or likes the video. If you have any comments or suggestions, I'd love to hear them. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.